Welcome viewers to another exciting episode of Smart People. My name is Salas Ibrahim, your usual host on the show. Today I have a very talented, very pretty, she's a mother, she's all that you can think about. She has graced our screen for many years with her talent. She's admired by both young and old, and I have to be honest with you, she is my mentor. I look up to her when I enter this industry. You remember the name Obagenge, Mama Jata? Okay, she is the one I am talking about. She's on the show today. You see why you have to watch smart people? All right, just come with me, going to talk to her. Okay, mother, that's how we call her. Camera, light, action. We are moving. She is an actress, so we have to do it that way. Okay. Can I put on my glasses? Of course, you allow, that. mother. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I'm sure viewers are missing you because these days you've been missing in action. Yes, I know. I've been missing in action, but, well, I'm back. Hey, <laughs> mother is back. Oh, okay. So we are going straight to your career. All How right. did you enter into acting? Well, I was hosting a program of a Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. Which year? Oh, it's more than 20 years ago, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than uh, almost 30 years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one Mr. Akpe invited me for an audition at the uh, Ministry of Information or so, uh, Ghana Film Industry. Mm. But then, with the Ghana program, I like Ghana, I'm a Ghana. Mm. So we produce programs for Ghana women. It's called a Ghana women program. Okay. We advise the women how they should live with their husbands and children and all that. Okay. And sometimes we dramatize the whole program. Oh. Uh, yes, okay. like a storytelling and all that. That's okay. what we do. Okay. So when he called me for an audition, he said, I should come and try. So, well, so I was auditioned and I got the role. Yeah, yes. What was your first role in the movie? In the movie, the, the, the wife of Nana Akutu. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. From, uh, yes, some people came down from for, I mean, foreigners. They were in, uh, foreigners. So I got the role of the wife of the chief. Mm. And we were sent to Kufri Dry. So I think, I think I've seen it one or twice okay. on the telly. Uh, and how did you feel? When I got the role. Playing your first major role on, on screen. Well, before then, I was always on radio. Drama on radio. And so it TV wasn't so new. And it was, well, yes. I've been acting already. And me with acting, as soon as I get on the set, I forgot everybody. Whenever I got on the set, that's what I do. Okay. Yeah, you, I forget everybody. And I forget even the camera. And you just and do my own thing. Hey, mother, oh, mother. So when I got there, I forgot everybody. I saw many people. People have been seen on the screen, but I didn't mind them. I was just going on. Yeah. Then I got it. So, and then it continued. It continued till today. And then I had the chance of working with NAFTI. Yeah. And the students helped me a lot. Okay. Every year, somebody will come for me. Every year, somebody will come. And to they do their project works? Yes. Okay. So they exposed me. Oh. Uh, because every year, their films, their pictures, it's always on there. But every do they still do that now? Yes, they do. Last year, I traveled. As soon as I came back, I was invited by one of them. Okay. And we traveled somewhere, forgotten, and we shot okay. one or two films over there. Okay. They are still doing it. Okay. But we don't see it on the telly again. Yeah. Yes. Because formally, those days they used to show yes, it. Yes, formally every yes. year you yes. see time with NAFTI. Yes. And then people will see you, yeah. the way you act and everything, and then... They pick but, you from there. Mm -hmm, but so what is stopping them? We'll get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, how much were you paid for your first movie? <laughs> <laughs> don't you think I'm an old woman now? <laughs> I tend to forget things these days. I don't know. Pardon her. Oh. Forgetfulness is my problem this, this time. Mother, you are blessed though. We tap into your life so that we also grow to... Do you know, can I tell you one story? Mm -hmm. I prepared some salad and I didn't have egg in the salad. So I thought, let me cook one, uh, one 
I should let me boil one egg mm -hmm. and add it to my salad. Mm. I forgot the uh, egg entirely on the cooker. I Old finished age. with the salad. Then I heard something burning. I rushed into the kitchen. I've forgotten the, 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 the egg. It's, not, it's old age. And I've eaten the salad. <laughs> the salad is gone without the egg. So you can imagine. We are still talking to mother. I call her mother. <laughs> we call her in the industry mother because she's our mother, our mentor and advisor yes. and everything. Well, we'll be right back. Smart people. Oh. Mommy. Madam, you used to work whilst acting. Yes. Well, after schooling, you know, I attended the Crab Shops Girls School. I was going to ask you the schools you've attended. Yes, from there, I went to St. Elizabeth's Girls School. It's now called Kibi Training College. Okay. So after schooling, I was recruited by a recruitment and training section of the ministries. Okay. And I was posted to Ministry of Education. Okay. There, I worked the whole of my life. Oh. Yes. When I got married, we were transferred to Kumasi and then Takradi. Apart from that, I haven't been to anywhere before. Always in Accra. Always in Accra. I had all my children in Accra. Okay. So, working at the Ghana Education Service. And, and combining then that combi with acting. Yes. Yes. So, most of the time, I do my acting at the weekends. Oh. Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Yes. So, that but doesn't interfere with your yes. work and your family? You won't be allowed to go. Okay. won't be allowed to go. Okay. So that's what I normally do. But as this education cannot be overemphasized, do you think it's important for actors to have an uh, education or a certificate to hold on to when the acting is not going on for them? So yes. Okay. It's very, very important because you just can be... Well, since I started acting, I've been going on. We have, we've been having workshops yeah. and then attending to... Well, experience makes perfect, of course. Yeah. In my case, experience makes perfect. But then, I wish I could have somebody who can invite me right now for something to be done about. I, I'd, like, I'd like to have more education on acting. Okay. Yes. But be, um, I'm asking this because you hear people calling. They, you meet people, they go like, well, my daughter has just finished JSS. <sighs> my daughter has just finished excess and I want her to go into acting. I want him to go into acting. And when you tell them that it doesn't work like that, they think you don't want to help. Well, that's what they think. People come to me, people call me on phone, asking me to, Auntie Grace, I want to act. That. You just can't sit at your home and then walk up one day and then come and sit on set. They don't know. Yeah. So we have to explain to them yeah. that you just can't come on set and then come and do whatever you like. We don't do that. So we have to explain to them. So I keep on advising them that, please, find somewhere. Have a training. It's better that way. So that's what we have to do. We have to advise them. You've been in this industry for the past 30 years or more. Mm -hmm. um, would you say that it's paying now than when you started? Because you couldn't even remember how much you were paid. I couldn't. <laughs> If it was big, I'm sure oh, you'd have, I would have remembered one it touch. By now. But, but then, right now, I think it's better. It's better. It's better this time than our days. So you pay the price for us. <laughs> it's better these days because most of the artists are having cars and all that. In your days, I remember. No way. Yeah. No way. No way. No way. Yeah. No but Auntie Grace, what, do you think that it is in, it, it, it's okay for us to take acting as a profession in Ghana since our industry is very small? Because I have always advocated that, that it is not possible 
Unless, of course, you have connections in Nigeria, outside Ghana, or other African I countries. I don't think. Sometimes I pity most of the girls. Thank you. Look at me right now. I have nothing doing. Of course, I was in the civil service. Yeah. I retired. I'm a pensioner. Mm. I receive my, 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 my pay every month. Yeah. But if I were to be somebody who was trained on the job yeah. or who was trained as an actor or whatever, I won't, I won't have, have died a pauper. I mean, I'm telling you. Yeah. Most of our people, I am telling you. We need to acquire a skill. We need to have a certificate. We need to hold on to something. It is not just about appearing on TV. Because when you retire is when you realize that you have made a big, big, big mistake. She's saying that education is important. Training is important. Let's acquire a skill. You can always come on TV when the time is right. Okay, madam, back to you. I don't think I'll advise people to Come and join us. Somebody will say, Auntie Grace, you are there, but you don't want <laughs> us to go. Hey, they'll kill you, Auntie Grace. Yes. <laughs> but then, where, Salasi, look round. Yeah. Many of us, yeah. the elderly people, yes. where are they at the moment? Yeah. Nobody cares for them. The Majordans. And the, the, then all the rest. Oh, I know. At least, invite us for something. Yeah. Formally, they always invite the elderly people for a premiere, yeah. whether you know them or not, yes. you send them tickets to come and watch. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody think about them again. Whatever is happening in the industry, they will never remember to call you, to invite you. Oh. Nobody will invite you. This is sad. It's very sad. Yeah. It's very, very sad. Nobody will remember you. Even a film that you featured in, in they won't remember they to invite you. They concentrate on the young ones. But that shouldn't be the case. Yeah. It shouldn't be so. Eh? So this time, I don't advise people, I, I don't encourage people to join us. Well, for me, that's what I think. I don't know about the young ones. I don't know what they think. But for me, I don't think you can come into, you can jump into the industry without having education or having a training and then you come and do your own thing. By the time you get to the age of 50, 40, nobody will mind you again. Exactly. Because you, it's, it's, yes. it's a season, it's up and down. When you don't do anything to maintain yourself there, oh no my way. goodness. No After way. five, ten years, you are gone. No way. That's what we don't understand. We are in a hurry to become stars, but we are not in a hurry to get our future ready waiting for us. No way. And sometimes I feel sad when I sit back and think about the way we were, we were struggling with Actors Guild and all that and all that. Hey, and, and look Ghana at Ghana films. Ghana films. <laughs> going up and down. Yes. I and know. down. In your, once in, nobody will care to ask of you, oh, where is Auntie Grace? Where, where, Auntie where Grace, is, I asked about you. I know you ask of you. I know I asked of you. You are, you are not the only person <laughs> in the industry. You are not the only person in the, in the, in the industry. I, I know. know my girls who call me mother, mother, mother. I know I can count many of them, but... What about the others? Yeah. What about my colleagues? Yes. Where are they? Well, I don't know what to say, but we are still talking to a veteran female actor. Well, we'll be right back. Smart people dare to be different. Um, Auntie Grace, would you say that um, acting has given you a life you envisaged? Uh, yes, yes. I like acting. Uh, there was a time I can't live without acting. Acting. Reading a script, doing something about acting. But I thought in your time, it's not because you were being paid well. Is it just because you love to For the act? love of it. Okay. For the love of it. Well, acting is something. I have passion for Acting is something when you're doing it and you like it and you love it. It's a passion within. within. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. I know. <laughs> You get educated. Yeah. You at least, when you are not happy, you read some of the, the scripts, scripts and you'll be happy. Yes. You read some of the scripts you go through. So you keep your old scripts? I have so many scripts right now in my house. And you go through them? Yes, sometimes when I feel like reading it, I go out, pick one or two, and then I start reading them. I read scripts. I have a box full of scripts. Amazing. Yes. I have a box full of scripts. So how do you handle the fame when you were still working? 
when you go to the office, what what you was know, the reaction of your colleagues? There was once I went to the police hospital to see a doctor. I've been going to see him. Then one day when I got to the hospital, he was looking at me closely. He said, ah, were you the one I saw on the telly? I said, he said, ah, I told my wife, you resemble somebody, one of my patients. Were you the whole, the whole? I said, yes, doctor. Hey, he was surprised. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, well, you get your, you, 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 you don't have your privacy. Yes. That's my problem. Mm. You don't have your privacy. Wherever you go, people are monitoring, monitoring you, watching you, mm. looking at you. I know. From head to toe. <laughs> what you wear. From your hair to your shoe. Mm. Your teeth, mm. your eyes, everything. They watch. To be sure if she's the one we see on TV. What can we do? And sometimes too, for instance, when I went to London, people noticed me wherever I, they said, ah, this woman, and then they come out, dash you something. Yeah. There was a time I went to the market, I saw somebody. He was so happy seeing me. He came from London. He said, madam, come, 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 dash you something. That so those it. are the little, little favors. Yes. But the privacy... You idea. don't have it anymore. Ah. How was your husband taking it? Well, he was cool about it. Well, I'm now a widow, you know. I know. Mm -hmm. But he was alive when you were acting. Yes. Oh, he was happy. He helped me pack my things when I he was, was going feeling on cool. location. Oh, yes, he was all but right. But hey, my wife was a star. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mind me. He would rather help me pack my things. He would call me, Grace, have you packed everything? Have oh. you taken this? Have you done this? And whenever I'm on location, whether Kumasi, whatever, wherever, I call to the house, take this stew out, cook this rice, do this, do this. That's what I normally do. Husbands, are you hearing? Husbands of female actors, are you listening? That's what I do. You will need your support. Yes. Help us to achieve our dreams. Did you hear that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Auntie Grace, you know there's this it's, it's, it's common been... saying uh -huh. that um, marriages of female actors don't really work. But you have been in your marriage for several years before your husband left you. Yes, that's why I've been advising the girls. Yes. You know how you play your cards. Yeah. If you know you are a married woman, you know how to work. Exactly. You know how to play your cards. A married woman. As I'm sitting down now, I will never expose my breast. I will never expose my waist. I will never expose my thigh. Yeah. A married woman. Yeah. Your precious is your breast, your waist and all that. So, if you expose your breast, what else is left for your husband? So, do you think that these are the reason why marriages of female actors or no. actors in general well, is always in trouble? You, see, you are saying it. It's now that I'm going to. Once you've said it, I am going to watch and. It's not just Ghana, Mother. I know. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's a worldwide Some, thing. Sometimes I read in the papers yes. about most of yes. the, the artists. Yes. And then I keep on thinking that why? Why is it so that you hear this marriage? That I don't know. It means there's something going on which we should find out. I also feel sometimes that because we are in the public domain, we are in the public eye, uh, uh, every little thing, somebody picks it up and twists it. Well, it could be so. But then... Because politicians, uh, we are just like politicians. politicians anyway. People will just dream and they bring it in papers yes. and you have no choice. You, you can't see, go defending some, yourself. Sometimes they sit back and picture you with a man on a bed. I am telling you, yes. they pick a character on TV and they start spreading news. That is it. So I keep on explaining to them that if you see them, that doesn't mean they are alone in the room. The cameraman is there. <laughs> the sound man is there. The assistant sound man is there. Yeah. There are many people over there. So don't think that two of them are in the room alone. Look, female artists, we have moral values. Stop looking at us like that. Too. We have moral That's what values. They think. Yes. My friend, we are. Okay, mother is yes. here. So my mother is here. So I won't say it. Yes, that's what they say. <laughs> oh, where, where are you? Papa, no, you could die. Can you imagine? Yeah, kissy, kissy. No, 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 no. Mother, you know, funny. One funny thing eh, I featured in a movie with eh, Desmond Elliott. Uh -huh. I was sitting there, one mother of mine called me and said, Ah, so last thing I said, I'm Desmond Elliott. He's a small boy. How? And he knows I am married. 
How? You know, this is what they do and they spread it. And by the time it gets to you, it's already gone far. Yes, it's for us to explain to them. But, we but have to you educate can't explain them. to everybody. We have to educate them. Yes, education, I agree. Yes. But we can't explain to all of them. Well, the thing, because, uh, you see, of course, once I know I'm a married woman, mm -hmm. I have never been... No, if you give me a script, I go through. Exactly. And if you ask me to go and lie down with a man, I can choose not to do it. Exactly, yeah. And I know the director won't force me. Yeah. So that's what the girls, that's what they have to do. Mother, well, let's say... When you are giving the script, go through the script. Yes. Find out if you can do it. If you can't, tell the director to change it. If the director cannot change it, you hand over the out. script to her. Uh, Mother, yes. let's say you are playing a mother. Mm -hmm. and you have a husband mm -hmm. there's no way you will say i can't lie on bed with my husband in the movie you have to you have to but maybe there are certain things you wouldn't do mm -hmm. like maybe having sex and uh, kissing and uh, all that you won't do it but yes. lying down on bed even just lying on bed with a man people will <laughs> read meaning into it oh well i am a married woman yeah. i was a married woman i was one given the role with uh, george williams mm. to play the role of a uh, <laughs> the wife of George Williams, and we were lying down. Yeah. Yes, the way we were lying down, the director came by and said, oh, by the way, how can a man and woman lie down? <laughs> apart. They think sometimes you are too stiff. He, he was lying apart near the wall. I was also pitching somewhere near there. He said, oh, please, come together a bit for me. So well, we, we decided to come. But you can see clearly that we are man and wife. But yeah. then, after the shooting, finished. Swap people, swap people.